Another motion game, if you see that the children are getting restless, is to play something called statues. So the way this works is the teacher, usually at first, is um, owns a gallery, an art gallery, and she or he has all these statues, which are your children, and they stand up and they strike a pose, and they hold that pose, and then um, and you tell them that the rules are that statues cannot move when the owner or the museum owner is watching and statues may never touch another statue and statues should not lie down on the ground um and if they break any of these rules you have to sell them to another museum so <laughs> the way this game works is the owner um after explaining these rules and the children are frozen explains, oh, I have to go, I forgot, I am meeting a friend, and you make up any excuse that why you're leaving. And then as you leave, turn around and walk away, the children go crazy and they're moving all around. And then, then you come back, maybe give them a little warning ahead of time that you're coming. Um, and then you turn around and they're frozen again. And, um, they think it's so hilarious. Um, and you point out, like, oh, Shikai, like, I, you weren't standing like that before. And you go around and you, like, think out loud, like, how is this happening? Or do they have batteries in them? And then you say, I'm going to go get my friend to show him this. And... Then you go, you leave again, you make any excuse, like if the first reason was I'm going out and I need my umbrella, then you say, oh, I forgot my rain boots, and you just keep going in and out, and they keep going crazy, and then being very still. Um, and I think that this teaches self-control, <laughs> it's just a great way to um, get the wiggles out.